Morning, Brentley here from Huckabones. Today we're going to look at Legends Flat Top Series in their enclosed aluminum cargo trailers. Stay tuned, we'll go over the details. So we're gonna start with the Legend Aluminum Trailers, the flat top series to be exact. This is their flagship, this is their bang for buck trailer. Gives you the most features for the money. All aluminum trailers, so aluminum frame, aluminum skin side that's bonded. They will have a few steel components, that being the jack, the ball coupler, and your axles, but even down the aluminum rims, everything else is aluminum. So they will have two models in this series, one being their flat front, which is not as popular anymore. The V front's more economical for your fuel savings and towing, a lot less wind drag. So we're gonna stock the V nose models. That will have a three foot V nose in all of them. Nice chrome strip to where they come together, nice clean finish. Three inch trim along the front, or along the top I should say, and then a nice color match trim piece down the side. Standard will be your 24 inch stone guard diamond plate to match the diamond plate fenders, which is a nice touch. Talking back to the other videos on the you know utility gate, the open deluxe from Legend, same tongue, three by six main frame tongue, your angle brackets to go back, that's your structure, that's your support for towing. All right, gonna move to the side door, it's a 30 inch RV style door. You've got a latch system that will lock the latch and will lock a deadbolt for security reasons. A step is an added option that you see here in this door, uh, but a nice option for getting in and out. And another thing that is nice, grab handle on the side is standard on all of them. The neat feature that this is, this is a light inside here. So you will see a legend going down the road at night. You'll know what it is coming down the road because it is the only one that does that signature series lighted grab handle. All right, moving to the rear of the trailer, we're gonna look at the door options back here. They do have a barn door, which will be a two door system always uh, with a single cam bar in the middle. The ramp door, as you see here, has two cam bars on the outside. These are stainless cam bars, so they will stay nice. They will not rust. Uh, and uh, they, they operate actually a little easier than your zinc coated ones. You've got your flip ups here that you can have deadbolts or, uh, you know, I mean, padlocks in there to, to lock up. But your ramp's gonna come down nice and easy effortlessly because of the dual spring assist. A ramp flap has been added to this ramp. Uh, nice feature. Again, that's going to prevent any sudden jars or anything loading with a little wheel cart or, or uh, you know, equipment to get over that hump. It's just a seamless, effortless uh, ramp that way. Your spring assist, again, dual spring assist each way on a coil up here. Very light, very easy to lift up and down. The one thing to remember with a trailer is your height. Whenever they talk about height, whenever they talk about width, they always talk about outside width. So this single axle, you're gonna be 78 inches tall. Um, tandem axles are that as well. The ones beside us have actually increased height uh, six inch. So they are seven foot tall, but you're gonna lose six inches with this header. Whenever you talk about a seven wide, seven tall trailer, you're actually only about six, eight wide in the inside for wall to wall and you'll be 6'6 six, six on the door opening. So that's something to remember when you're buying a cargo trailer and what you want to load. The other thing would be your spring assists are the narrowest part of the ramp. So even though it says it's seven wide, again, six, eight wall to wall, you can see where the wall is actually jetted in that we're less than six, five, you know, six and a half, I should say. For width, you're even less when you get down to the spring assist and where they are on the ramp for something to fit through. So remember that. All right, so we're gonna to move to the inside of the trailer talk a little bit more about the fit and finish inside. They look great on the outside. They look just as nice on the inside. They have a 3 8 wood wall, three quarter inch engineered flooring. Both are engineered uh, wood. So that is gonna be a preventative wood for soaking in water, rotting, that sort of thing. It is actually 30 layers that whenever you chip away a layer, there's another one there to protect it. So I've run snowmobiles in mine. You don't see the carbides dig in. You know, yes, if you spin studs, it is gonna rip up the floor, but the carbides itself stay on top. The water, when it thaws, it stays on top. So moving on to the door. Again, here's the inside of the RV door. Nice frame, nice finish. Your latch to open and close and your deadbolt lock. Moving to a couple other features. You got your side force vents uh, that you'll see on the inside here. They'll do one top corner, one opposite bottom corner to create some cross flow. That's the best vent that you're gonna have for gasoline engines inside or any, any type of fuel inside. That just gets the vapors out. The other option that you can do, roof vent on top. That's more ventilation, you know what I mean, when you're not moving. A nice feature as well. Two dome lights are standard, LED dome lights. But if you take a close look, the fit and finish whenever you look into a Legend trailer versus other brands, you know, diamond plate edging, you know, your, your band edging, you know what I mean, just on your walls, really 
classes the trailer up a bit. Uh, all aluminum frame, so let's talk about that. 24 inch centers on the floor is two by four main frame. Um, you've got your one by one and a half tubing uh, on the walls and the ceiling, and both are at 16 inch centers. So they beef that up on the walls, that's your moving part down the road. The other neat thing that you can see whenever uh, they don't finish the walls as nice as they do, but in behind the diamond plate on the back corners, your top corners, whether it's a barn door or a ramp door, they're gonna put an extra welded plate in there for reinforcement on your top two corners. That's the corners that shift the most going down the road. That's what catches wind, moves the trailer. You'll see trailers going down the road. Their, their kind of doors are going all over the place. That's because they don't have those added reinforcements in the corners. That's because they don't have a full box frame for their doors of ramp or barn stored style. They're full box frame and they will fit in there and that keeps it rigid as well. All right, we're back outside looking at colors and looking at a few different features and options. The option list is long uh, for legend on what you can put in your trailer. You can totally customize these anywhere from aluminum floors, aluminum sides, you know, closing in the roofs, white walls, power packages, all that kind of thing. So it's best to give us a call and we can size up what your needs are for a trailer. The standard trailer that you saw here, along with a few options of the step, you know, your aluminum rims, uh, there's a few options there of what you can pick, a couple vents, a couple lights, that sort of thing. That's all gonna be a standard thing that we're gonna stock here at Huckabones. Getting into more custom features, absolutely. Legend has a long list to offer. Uh, the last thing that you'll need to do after you figure out what size you need uh, is what color you want. So behind me here is a pewter gray. Again, gray is one of the most popular things going right now with lots of trucks and different manufacturers having different grays. This is their pewter gray. Uh, probably the most forgiving for salt, dirt, that sort of thing, and, and keeping a, a nice clean trailer whenever it is dirty. Uh, they've got a, a lighter gray, which would be more like a silver called their uh, silver frost. And then they have a charcoal gray, which would be a darker gray than this one. Three other colors that are standard, no price differences would be red, black, and white. Can they do different colors? Absolutely. I've seen indigo blue. I've seen some greens. I've seen color match, uh, you know what I mean, to oranges, our, our favorite color, of course. But uh, that is an extra expense, but that can be done. Hope you liked our video today. If you did, hit the like and the, and the subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.